This is Star Wars The Vintage Collection Bastilla Shan. She's part of Wave 9, the 2011 Vintage Collection. Um, she's probably the most in-demand figure of that wave. Um, they've never had a figure of this character before. This is the first one. And a lot of, a lot of Star Wars fans really like this character. So, I mean, she's going to be pretty hard to find on shelves. I found her at a, at a local Walmart. Um, just a few weeks ago. She was the only one there and I haven't seen one of her since. Um, I was, I was, honestly, I was a little bit let down with this figure. Um, I was really looking forward to it. I think she's a really cool character, but I mean, she has poor articulation in the hips. Um, her, her outfit, her mold at the top makes it hard for her you to move her arms around, so she has very limited posability. I'm not too happy with the face either. Um, We'll get back to her in a second. Right now, let's look at the packaging she comes in. I really like this picture of her. It's really cool. Really nice. As you can see, she's part of the expanded universe. She's from a video game called Knights of the Old Republic. She is. And there's the, the other figures from the wave, including Ponda Baba, Rebel Soldier, and then the B-Wing pilots also in that wave. Um, and I have all those, and I'll be reviewing them sooner or later. Um, she comes with her ignited double lightsaber, her, her trademark yellow double lightsaber. And she comes with an unig unignited one that will uh, she can hold right there on her belt. So that's nice. She comes with no stand. This is from a Clone Wars. This is from a Clone Wars figure. All right. So overall figure, um, she, I mean her she, technically she looks like Bastilla Shan with the double lightsaber and the, and the outfit. But her face, I'm, I'm, I just don't, I'm not happy about her face. It looks, it's very nondescript and just doesn't really look like her. I mean, her, the, the little hair flip in the front, that looks like her. But other than that, her eyes are real far apart and I'm, I'm just not too happy with it. Anyway, let's take a closer look at the mold. <clears throat> she's really small. Um, and she's, she's short. And she just, her proportions don't look right to me. Um, she's got a lot of good detail in the top half of her costume, the top half of the sculpt, and that's really nice. And then the tunic part is really nice as well. The legs, I'm not that big a fan of them. They're kind of weird looking. And when she poses, when she has a wide stance, she looks even weirder. And then her, her head, I'm not very happy with it. not very happy with it. I mean, the hair is pretty accurate. Um, but I mean, that's about it when it comes to the face. So I'm not happy about that. I, I do like her molded, her right hand. She's got that... She's doing something with the... Come on, camera. She's doing something with the force with that hand. I like that. But she looks weird when she's holding the lightsaber in that hand. It's because her two fingers are extended forward. This doesn't look quite right. Come on, what is wrong with this camera? So, and then her left hand, which is, I guess, molded more to look like it should hold a lightsaber. She can't hold it very well. I actually had to rig it in there with some uh, with an elastic band. So, but, but, but the detail in her belt and the top half of her costume is really nice. Look at the belt. Look at all those pouches and everything. Really nice. The, her back is really nice, too. Look at that detail, that sculpt detail. Right, the paint, I, I do like her colors. I, I would have liked to see them a little bit more yellow. This, the, the cream colored part, I would like to see a little bit more yellow. Um, there's not much sh detail or shading in it at all. I mean, I, I can't see any. Just that brown and cream color. She's got a little nice belt buckle. That's about it. And then her face. It's just, I mean, it's. The, the, it's painted on there nice. It's you know it's not messed up or anything like that, but it's just real nondescript again. Her, her hair is just this one one brown color. There's not much in that either. <clears throat> and then the articulation is where uh, I'm really unhappy with her. She's got a ball jointed head, so it swivels and looks up and down a little bit. She's got a ball hinge shoulder, but the, her shoulder plate makes it it's, it's hard to get up there. You kind of have to twist it a different way, then pull it out, and then move it over. But it's really hard. It's real snug in there, too snug. 
She's got ball hinge elbows, 360 in and out, swivel wrist, she's got a swivel waist, and she's got just swivel hips. I, I, I hate that. Uh, ball hinge knees and a ball hinge foot, so that turn 360 and it can kick out like that. But, I mean, the, the ball hinge knees, I, they're pretty useless. I, I'm not a big fan of those anyway. I mean, how often do you look like that? So if they're trying to save money with articulation, just give her a, a hinge knee and ball and, and better and a ball socket hip. I mean, because this articulation down here is pretty much useless when, when coupled with this crappy art hip articulation. All she can really do is step forward like that and back. You know, she can pretty much only do one pose. So that's one thing I hate about Star Wars figures. Oh, let's get a size comparison of her. This is Barris Ophi from the Clone Wars line. They're about the same height. Of course, she's a little shorter than Anakin. And a lot shorter than a Marvel Universe figure. So, I mean, priority level. Should you pick this, this, this figure up? I like the character a lot. I'm glad they finally made a figure of her. But other than that, I, I was definitely disappointed when I got it out of the box. I actually wish that I left it in the box because I mean, the poor articulation, she's just not that great of a display piece because you can't really do much. So, I mean, if you love Bastilla Shan, go ahead and get her. You might be a little disappointed like I was. Um, if you find it in retail, definitely pick it up because, you know, online these things are going for like, at least $20. Consider yourself lucky if you find it in retail. Um, but, I mean, if you're not a huge fan, I, I'd pass. It's just not that great of a figure on its own without being a still, still a Shan fan. <laughs> Alright, so upcoming reviews. I got some more Star Wars stuff. Uh, I'll do the Rebel Commando from the Vintage Collection. Uh, I got a whole bunch and then I, I really want to get to the Star Wars stuff. Um, I got Marvel Universe Archangel, my Revel Tech Starscream, and the Gold Variant Odin from the Thor line. Right, well, I hope you found this helpful. Here she is. Take her or leave her, depending on your preference. And I will see you next time. Until then, keep collecting.